This video will show you a method of finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Now for the quadratic sequence that we have here, the first thing that needs to be done is to find the first difference. So here we have that we have adding 7, then that we're adding 13, then that we are adding 19. So for a quadratic sequence, the first differences will be different. So that means that we need to look at the second difference. So from 7 to 13, we're adding 6. From 13 to 19, we're also adding 6. OK, now, for the next part, we are going to be looking at these three numbers here. So we've got our first term of 5, the first difference of 7, and a second difference of 6. And for that, we're going to say 2a equals 6. And it become clear why we're using these different letters shortly, which means that a equals 3. We then have that 3a plus b equals 7, so that's the first difference. Now we already know that a equals 3, so that means that we have 9 plus b equals 7, so b must be negative 2, because 9 take 2 is 7. And last of all, we have that a plus b plus c equals the first term of 5. So we know that a is 3, b, negative 2, and then we have c. So 3, take away 2 is 1, plus c equals 5, so c must equal 4. Now the reason that we've got all of these letters in, the a, the b and the c, is because the general form of the nth term of a quadratic sequence is a n squared plus b n plus c. So we've worked out a to be 3, so that is 3 n squared, b is negative 2, so minus 2 n, and c is 4, plus 4. So there we have the nth term of our quadratic sequence at the top. And as always, double check that in fact it does work. So if you check with n equal to 3, that means that we should get 25. So we have 3 squared is 9, multiplied by 3 is 27. Minus 2 lots of 3, which is 6. And adding 4. So 27 minus 6 is 21, plus 4 is 25, and that is indeed the third term of the quadratic sequence. So, when you have a sequence of numbers, find the first difference. If they're different, find the second difference. And then you need to remember that you're making the 2a equal to the second difference. 3a plus b equal to the first difference. And a plus b plus c equal to the first term. And then you can apply that to the general form of the nth term of the quadratic sequence to find your answer.